on the Feast of Stephen, a Christmas message, a prayer of St. G. How anxious are the skies when they smear vaguely across the mountaintops and seem not to know of it. The children are definedly excited while we, the elders, have smeared our memories to those times. They are no longer crisp like the crust of snow. The windows are not frosted designs of mystery. No bells are heard. No sleighs surge across the snowy fields. Yet he comes, for always he was coming, not from creation, but from before. Not in a time we call time, but as an external idea. It is his love issued out into salvation, for what was to occur was known. We have not left the feast unto the destitution of all. We know we are invited again, the Lord desiring a suffered people as Messiah, for he is our chariot to the heavens, the withinness of him. And we do race across snows, for there are treasures of them. All is crisp and clear and true, a world of frosted innocence. The good kings went down upon the feast of Stephen, when the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even. This was before the feast, before it was known. Yet the world lived in anticipation of some mystery to be revealed. For wasn't the world good or leaning to be good? Wasn't there meaning to thousands of years of history, to the skies which came from somewhere, to the snows of innocence which spear into our spirits? And is it all of material essence, no spirit? Messiah reveals that everything is personal or was made to be. It is we who were created of two natures, but were to move irrepressibly toward the spirit. How is it we have gone the other way? For we saw the Lord in our spirit and found we were against you, though we would not say. We close our shutters to the moon and stars, to the snowy night, for what have we to do with thee? Though kings come from afar, we shall not have you. So you are a child, we disdain you. So you are a magnificence, in envy we turn away. For in our elder years we see that we are not what we were meant to be, or who we thought we were. There were no gifts for us, only for you. How we have desired gold to entice our days and frankincense to perfume and heal our bodies and myrrh to take us to the grave. Yet these were given to the child and all things are for the king and of him and through him. They are passed to us and more. The feast was and is and ever will be for us. There are no subdivisions to the work of grace. The work of grace is a unit. It is one eternal, uninterrupted act, proceeding from the womb of eternity unto the womb of the Virgin. The glory of the children of God will be revealed in the great day of the Lord. And as we saved were determined to be saved from the foundation of the world, there comes a day when we begin to live it. Your love is not working toward the unknown. You are perfect and your way is perfect and your love is toward the west, the end of things, westward leading, guiding to us to all which is prepared for us. And shall we be like a child on Christmas morning, delighted with our toys? Or shall we see the tender look upon your face and know that from afar, from a desert, you have brought us to yourself? You called us before we were, in order that we might come into being, and when we had come into being, you led us all our days. We are called to the feast which begins at Christmas. Merry Christmas.